Are you planning on buying a Rolex watch? Are you curious about the do's and don'ts, the tips and tricks, the insider knowledge that will set you apart from other Rolex buyers? Wonder no more, because this video is your ultimate guide to unlocking the realm of Rolex ownership. But before we jump into that, please subscribe to my channel so you'll stay updated with all of my future videos. Well, time's ticking, so let's begin. Dress smart when visiting the Rolex authorized dealer. The first thing to take into consideration when visiting a Rolex store is to dress smart. In contemporary society, it is not always possible to assess an individual's worth solely based on their attire. Although first impressions are often considered important and people tend to evaluate others based on their appearance, it is crucial to recognize that superficial judgments do not truly reflect a person's value. Regardless of personal beliefs or financial status, authorized Rolex dealers prioritize selling watches to individuals who present themselves well and align with the brand's image. This does not mean one must dress extravagantly for watch shopping, but rather a clean and presentable appearance is essential. Opting for a stylish pair of sneakers, well-fitting trousers, and a nice polo shirt serves as a basic dress code. If you have a job that requires formal attire, it can be beneficial to visit an authorized dealer during your lunch break or after work when you are already dressed appropriately. Dressing in a business casual manner not only creates a favorable first impression but also demonstrates respect for the shopping experience. It is important to clarify that not all authorized dealers engage in questionable practices. Some adhere strictly to ethical standards. However, the prevalence of such practices is increasing, making it more challenging for dealers to maintain integrity. It is undeniable that an authorized dealer is more likely to engage in these practices if they perceive the customer as wealthy, often influenced by conspicuous displays of wealth such as arriving in a Ferrari. It is common to see luxury cars like Ferraris or Lamborghinis parked outside Rolex authorized dealers. To be frank, if you are dressed poorly, the authorized dealer will not be swayed and if you mention financial limitations, the likelihood of obtaining your desired watch diminishes. The existence of numerous guidelines in purchasing a Rolex stems from the brand's prestigious and high-end reputation, necessitating a thorough and meticulous process at authorized dealers. As long as you present yourself in a smart, clean manner and wear a favorite cologne or perfume, you can certainly make a positive first impression. Be personable and nice. Kindness is an essential virtue not only in life but also when trying to navigate the Rolex waiting list. It is a reality that exhibiting rude or entitled behavior will not put you at the top of any Rolex waiting list. Authorized Rolex dealers hold the discretion to allocate Rolex sports models to individuals of their choice, and they are unlikely to offer these coveted timepieces to someone they do not have a positive rapport. They are more inclined to sell a watch to someone they genuinely like, can connect with, and share commonalities with. If obtaining a new Rolex at retail is of utmost importance to you, it may be beneficial to familiarize yourself with basic principles of body language and behavior that can help you foster likability among people. Take the time to choose a Rolex salesperson with whom you feel a sense of camaraderie or believe you can develop a strong rapport. Wear your own Rolex watch. While it is true that only some people seeking to purchase their first Rolex will have a previous one to showcase, the following suggestion applies specifically to those who already own a Rolex. If you are fortunate enough to own a Rolex, displaying it when visiting an authorized dealer to discuss a new model can be advantageous. This serves as an engaging conversation topic with the dealer and also indicates that you have a history of buying Rolex watches. 
Additionally, if you consistently return to the store wearing the same Rolex, it communicates to the authorized dealer that you are not merely seeking a Submariner or Daytona for resale at a higher price. For individuals who do not currently own a Rolex, it is still advisable to wear any other luxury watch you may possess. This demonstrates your genuine interest in watches and willingness to invest in a new Rolex sports model at its full retail price. Show your ADs how serious you are. To ensure your seriousness as a customer and increase the chances of receiving a call from your Rolex authorized dealer, it is essential to communicate your commitment clearly. When you receive the call, be prepared to visit the dealer and complete the purchase within 24 hours, provided you have the necessary funds. Let the authorized dealer know that you are serious about the purchase and come equipped with a card ready for payment as soon as the call arrives. It's worth noting that many individuals who sign up for the Rolex waiting list may not be able to afford the watch or may lack genuine incent to purchase it for various reasons. Dealers maintain a list of reliable individuals they trust, knowing they will promptly complete the transaction with cash. Additionally, it is beneficial to inform the dealer of any upcoming vacations you have scheduled. This ensures that they are aware of your availability in case a watch becomes available while you are out of town. While it is possible to pay by card over the phone, it is recommended to personally visit the store with your card or cash in hand. This allows you to inspect the watch and any accompanying items before finalizing the transaction. Although it is unlikely to encounter any issues with the Rolex purchase, this standard procedure ensures a thorough and satisfactory experience. Simply keeping the authorized dealer updated on relevant information demonstrates your commitment and seriousness toward the transaction. Build a relationship with the AD Another crucial tip is to foster a positive and amicable relationship, which complements the second suggestion. Make a conscious effort to establish a favorable connection with a specific sales representative from the Rolex authorized dealer. Whenever you visit the store, aim to interact with the same individual consistently. Over time, engage in conversations beyond watches. Initially, discussions may revolve around timepieces, but gradually expand the topics of conversation. It is important to avoid coming across as overly intrusive during this process. Let the relationship evolve naturally before delving into more personal subjects. Inquiring about someone's family right away can be off-putting. Building a genuine relationship will require time and patience. However, once you have established a strong bond and make your first Rolex purchase from that sales representative, subsequent transactions are likely to proceed more smoothly and efficiently. Congratulations! You've reached the end of our guide on how to buy a Rolex from an authorized dealer for beginners. We hope that through this video, you'll be able to witness a shimmering Rolex watch entangled on your wrist. Do you have any experience in buying Rolex watch from an authorized dealer? Share your experience in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more insightful videos about timepieces. Thanks for watching and see you again at the next one.